Hey YouTubers, this is Ben with True Cable, and today we're going to talk about bend and sensitive fiber. And we want to really look at some of the key uh, differences between standard fiber, uh, non-bend and sensitive, and bend and sensitive fiber, and, and why that might be beneficial in your application. Now, most often now, in multi-mode fiber applications, you're definitely going to see in patch cables um, and some of those shorter length cables are going to be bend and sensitive fiber already automatically. Most of the manufacturers are, are using those currently. But what is really the main uh, focus and reason for having bend and sensitive fiber? Well, in many cases, routing fiber through patch panels uh, network switches, uh, cable trays, things like that where there's really tight corners and bends that need, to, um, that need to be had in those scenarios, it's very important that the bend radius uh, is maintained if you're not using bend and sensitive fiber. And some of those bend radiuses can be quite large, up to 30, 20 to 30 millimeter bend radiuses. Well, in 2007, Single mode fiber came out with a bend and sensitive fiber. Now that's not used too much other than in outside plant applications today, but in 2009 they introduced uh, multi mode bend and sensitive fiber. And so that's mainly what we're going to talk about today is the multi mode bend and sensitive fiber because that's kind of the most commonly used uh, today in most uh, applications like residential, commercial, um, ISPs, things like that, data centers. So what makes it different? Well, if you look at the actual construction of the fiber, there's a few key components uh, that make it different. Inside the fiber core itself, or inside the fiber itself, you have a, the core and the cladding. And those are the two kind of main important pieces of the fiber optic cable. Well, in Ben's insensitive fiber, what they did is around the core, they added a, an extra sort of cladding ring uh, they call it a trench. And what that's really designed to do is to reflect back those what they call high order mode signals or high, high uh, frequency signals, light signals, back into the core of the fiber. And so the, the benefit to that is that now at the far end that's picking up that signal, you're still going to get those different uh, wavelengths, uh, communication wavelengths. In older scenarios, and older situations where you didn't have bend and sensitive fiber, you ended up losing a lot of those uh, wavelengths uh, out as the fiber was getting bent. And so that would attenuate or cause problems with your, with your uh, networking signaling. So one of the additional things that are important when it comes to bend and sensitive is those inner modes, those inner modes of fiber, because you have about 400, up to about 400 different modes in multi-mode fiber that are getting sent down that graded index fiber. And so those higher modes, as mentioned before, those would get, those would get lost as, as the fiber gets bent and tighter and tighter and tighter. Now that the, now that the bend and sensitive trench or that extra ring around the core uh, has been introduced in the manufacturing process, it allows for uh, like much, much tighter bends. And in, in our case, in our true cable fibers, uh, patch, patch cables, we can bend it up to 7.5 millimeters. And so that's a very, very tight bend, able to get around really tight corners. Uh, very useful in high density applications where um, many, many fiber optic cables are coming into a patch panel or coming into a switch. Um, server application able to able to make those bends and, and, and fit into really tight corners without losing any uh, excessive light and causing problems with the network. So which type of multi-mode fibers utilize uh, this bend insensitive? Well it's in the OM3 multi-mode fiber and also in the OM4 multi-mode fiber. So both options now offer this bend insens insensitivity when it comes to uh, the multi-mode fiber. So we offer both options in, in all of our patch cordage uh, from one meter all the way up to 30. 
uh, in the OM3 and in the OM4 multi-mode fiber. So one of the things to keep in mind of is in some applications, you might have older, let's say OM3 fiber in some cases that is not bend insensitive and you may be installing bend insensitive patch cords. Well, this potentially could be an issue when testing your cables. Why? Well, because in the bend insensitive fiber, you're, you're controlling and keeping those higher uh, modes within the core of the fiber. But in the non-bend non insensitive fiber, those modes are getting leaked out and, and getting lost as, as the fiber bends. So what that can do is that can, in your testing, that can cause either uh, a loss or what's called a gainer. And you'll see this um, on like a fluke test, piece of fluke test equipment um, as you're doing your testing. So it's, it's important to think about that when you're doing your uh, fiber optic testing. Oftentimes, uh, if that's the case, then you have to do what's called a bidirectional test and that will actually balance out or equal out your test to give you the result you need. The other thing to keep in mind is because of the very tight bends, um, there's a specific reference cables in multi-mode fiber testing that need to be used. And, uh, and those specific type of reference cables are very important because they can filter out those modes so that the testing is uh, where it needs to be. This is a multi-mode uh, OM3 cable, this aqua cable. We've got a VFL connected to it, and it's, it will take quite a bit to bend this fiber optic cable to really actually see any kind of light loss, and that's because of that uh, bend insensitive construction that we talked about earlier with that extra ring or that trench there that allows for that light to, to stay within the core of the fiber. And then here we have our multi-mode OM4 fiber, the, the violet color. And that, uh, again, too, is also a bend insensitive fiber. And we can uh, stick the VFL on that as well. And we can see that all the way out the other end, we get, we're getting light. And as we bend this, the light on that end will start to decrease slightly, but we'll see loss here. And we can see that there, so as it bends. Now, this is a really tight bend. This is not typical. Um, 7.5 millimeters is really the spec, but we can get an idea here of how tight that bend needs to be before we actually start to see some major loss out of the cable. So that's just some uh, basic information there on multi-mode fiber and uh, using a, a VFL and testing it. And again, bend insensitive fiber is, is definitely the, the way to go uh, in, in your, all your multi-mode applications, it's the recommended way. It's easy, um, it's less hassle in terms of installation, it's easy to route. So that's, that's what we have today for bend insensitive fiber. We hope you really enjoyed this uh, episode. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and happy networking. Well, thank you very much for watching the content. Oh, and by the way, are you considering just using any indoor cable outside? Don't do that. Please check out this video here about outdoor cable.